Brittany, I heard you got beat up earlier. Does it look like I got beat up? Don't yell at me. I was just told. Who told you that lie? Sarah. Oh hey, Sarah. Yes? So why are you going around telling people I got beat up? Oh, um, someone just told me that and... And you felt the need to run your mouth to other people not knowing if it was true or not? Girl. Be honest. You just like gossiping, don't you? Um... No, for real. Do you like gossiping? Because, like, I think it's fun, like... <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are we laughing? Because <laughs> I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> Snapchat, are you seeing this? Hit my name out your mouth. Someone help. Press more lies about me again. For more videos, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Link in bio for more. Here's my advice. Run. Brittany, I am not scared of. She just get her ass. Hold up. You had enough? Yeah. Well, you're in luck because it's not over yet. Tiff. Oh, I'm ready. Bring her back here. Say no more. Drag her. Oh, it's oh. around too. Somebody record. I need y'all to air drop me the video. Oh. I just want to play. Be her ass, best friend, tell her ass up. Pull her hair. You don't lay your hands on my best friend. Come on, Tiff, get up. Tiffany, is that you? Miss Edna, you didn't see anything. But I can clearly see. Oh, oh my God. You're not wearing your glasses, so how can you see? I suggest you look for them. Oh, she leaking, she leaking. Y'all be sure to subscribe on YouTube, link in bio. Oh, Brittany, are you okay? Oh, what'd you get from McDonald's? What happened? Everyone quiet down and bring your ticket seat and turn to page 45. Not the one sleeve bend down. Brittany, what happened? Ask me again, but record on Snapchat. Brittany, what happened? Oh, don't record me, don't record me, don't record me. I look a hot mess. I, I literally just got from the hospital. Uh -uh. You hospital. just told me to record you. Anyways... Afterwards, we went to McDonald's with My mom took me to McDonald's. Okay, period. Can I get some? No. Oh, Being late doesn't mean you can talk, Brittany. And put away the food. Girl, I just came back from the hospital, as you can see. Yes, Brittany. We all see the wristband. Okay, well, then y'all should understand. I missed breakfast, and the bitch is hungry. Pop that neck. She is clearly showing out. And is. Abby got math today. What are you doing? Simply forgotten? Forgotten Should about what? Let Brittany talk. She already got a broken arm. Ooh. Well, it's been two years now since George Floyd was senselessly murdered. We are still witnessing similar acts of violence. And of course, we are still fighting to prevent future hate fuel tragedies. By continuing to advance just policing, promote public safety, and improve our criminal justice system. But you guys didn't know President Biden just signed an executive order reforming federal policing and pushing for state local and tribal agencies to also make needed changes directly impacting 100,000 law enforcement agents. Wow. This executive order builds off the commitment President Biden has made to criminal justice reform and to advance racial equity since day one of his administration. He is literally getting to the bottom of this and this is the type of people we need in office. Do your research on just policing and public safety executive order. She Brittany, my face. Girl, you in luck because guess what? Getting hit in the face makes me lucky? Listen, the Biden-Harris administration has signed into law a historic bill called the Inflation Reduction Act. This will significantly lower health care costs and lower prescription drug prices. Okay, but my face. So going to the nearest hospital and pharmacy isn't going to run your pockets dry. Period. Oh, I've heard about this. The Inflation Reduction Act is also lowering energy bills and fighting climate change through clean energy investments and ensuring that large corporations finally pay their fair share of taxes. All while tackling inflation, reducing the deficits, and creating good paying jobs. Exactly. You might want to get that checked. This November, our freedoms are on the line and on the ballot. What? So much is at stake 
from our freedom to decide whether to have kids, our freedom to vote, our freedom to breathe clean air? What is going on? Girl, we all know you're a Trumpy. Anyways, speaking of that, MAGA Republicans will take us backwards by overthrowing the will of the people, controlling our lives, and blocking what our families need. Seeing that the 2022 midterm elections are at, literally at a crossroads. So you're advising everyone to support and vote Democrats up and down the ballot to protect our freedoms? Yes, ma'am. In doing so, we won't be worrying about health care, which is our freedom to get the care that we need without fearing that we'll go bankrupt to get it. People of the LGBTQ community having the freedom to be themselves and pursue their dreams. Period. Democrats know whatever our color, gender, or zip codes. Most of us want to leave things better for those to come. With the help of Democrats, we were able to deliver clean drinking water by replacing lead pipes and create millions of jobs that don't require a college degree. Also student debt relief for up to $20,000. Sarah, go watch the door. Why? Because I said so. Hey you. <clears throat> what is your problem? And gross. My problem is with you to see if you about it. What are you insinuating? Maria. Abby, if you can recall, you posted on Facebook and I quote, if anyone can beat up that redheaded girl, it's me. Oh, I saw that post. I want her to walk up to me like she do everybody else with the fist emoji. You heard that? I did. So what about Ooh. it? Okay, Abby. So you want to have a problem if I do this? Oh. Damn. She get in her ear too. Me. Brittany, don't kill the girl. Thanks, Sarah. And here's your gun back. Pull her wig off. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I might have to drop out of school. Best friend, what? Yes, girl, I'm knees deep in student loan debt. And right now, I don't have a penny to my name. Do you not know our president? Abraham Lincoln? No, President Biden, silly. His administration really raised $10,000 in student loan debt for those making under $125,000 a year. And up to $20,000 for Pell Grant recipients. And we all know you make less than $125,000 a year. What was that? <laughs> ah! Today's announcement means that 45% of federal student loan borrowers will be eligible to have their debt completely erased, including one in four black borrowers and one in three Latino borrowers. It says here that President Biden has also extended the existing payment pause on federal student loans through December 31st. This leaves me so much breathing room to save my money and to build a life I want for myself. That's right. Ah, Miss Edna! This is my freedom to fight. Uh, Brittany, no! Girl, move. Now sit down. This November, our freedoms are on the line and on the ballot. Why me? what I say? So much that I say for my freedom to decide whether we have kids, our freedom to vote, and our freedom to breathe clean air. What is going on? Sarah! Ah, somebody help me! Sarah, just sit down and listen. Mm. MAGA Republicans will take us backwards by overthrowing the will of the people, controlling our lives, and blocking what our families need. Vote for Democrats up and down the ballot to protect our freedoms. We won't have to worry about health care. People of the LGBTQ community having the freedom to be their authentic selves and pursue their dreams. This year, Democrats were able to deliver clean drinking water by replacing lead pipes and create millions of jobs that don't require a college degree. Also, student debt relief for up to $20,000. And we're just getting started. Truth or dare? How about this? You go first. Okay, truth. Is it true that I'm a baddie? Yes, thanks for asking. Okay, truth or dare, babes. Truth. Gwen, you can't ask her this one. Is it true that you think you're the better looking twin? I do. What was that? I do. How could you answer that? I got you, Veronica. Truth or dare? I'm more of a risk taker. I choose dare. I dare you to fight Chloe for calling you ugly. Maria recorded. Yo, the twin is fighting! I'm already on it. Oh my Jeez, god! Get her ass! Pull her hair! Hey. This is sweet! Maria, hair dropping the video! And Veronica is already going off. She must have some built up anger. Man, I can blame her. Where's the teacher? Shut up, Sarah, you a snitch! If you want to see more videos, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Link in my for more. Girl, what are you doing? Girl, my mom is in jail because of Sarah. Oh! I'm sorry! 
Why is she in jail? Sarah had another call to my mama for possession of cannabis, child. Why is that still a thing? Needlessly going to jail for a simple matter. Like, that holds people back from stable housing, a good job, and education? There are too many people serving long sentences for non-violent drug crimes. Yeah! Don't try to agree. You're the one calling the cops. Recently, President Biden announced three steps to end this field approach. First, a full and unconditional pardon for all prior federal offenses for simple possession of cannabis. Second, President Biden is urging all governors to follow his lead and issue pardons for state cannabis possession offenses. And third, President Biden is asking the Secretary of HHS and the Attorney General to begin the administration process of reviewing how cannabis is scheduled under federal law. He said, Sarah, please take attendance and be sure to mark anyone that's tardy or absent. Okay. I'm heading to the ladies' room. Maria? Here. Zach? Sarah? Oh, wait, that's me. Here. Tiffany? Present. Brittany? She's here. I don't see her, so I'm just gonna mark her absent. Mark who absent, cause baby, I'm here. Miss Edna took me to do the attendance and to mark anyone as tardy or- I don't give a damn what Miss Edna said. She ain't gonna know I came in tardy unless you tell her. Pop that So I said what I said. I'm here, the fuck? Okay, I'm back everyone. Turn the pages 24 to 25. Sarah, let me see the attendance. So far, Brittany is the only one that has been tardy. I was tardy. I'm pretty sure I came in on time. If you want to see part two, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Link in bio for more. What the fuck? Okay. Brittany, my mom's a chiropractor. Brittany, can I help you with something? Yes. Can you write your words a little bit bigger? I can't see it. If you have an issue seeing the board, sit up here with me. Actually, I can see just fine. Line air. Ugh, you know what? Yeah! Oh, yeah! Brittany, stiff wear. Stiff wear. Yeah! Miss Edna looking thick. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Brittany, go back to your seat. In that case, I need these. Oh! Oh my Oops, god, my that's so embarrassing. That could not be me. She is looking stuck. I mean though. Hey, Miss Edna. Hmm. Are you okay? Here's your I mean, here's your um I don't know what to say. Sarah, just yeah. shut up. Tiffany, I think I'm in the wrong period. Girl, just stay in here. It's the first day of school. I doubt they care. Okay, whatever you say. What's up, Tiff? Hey Tyrone! I know you had this period. I'm here, ain't I? This period gonna be lit. Alrighty, everyone take your seats. I'm gonna need you to take out three pieces of notebook paper, okay? Um, what is this for? Tremisia? Okay. We're gonna be doing a three-page essay on how well you guys' summer went. I don't think I'm in this class. It says here that you are Brittany. What's your name again? Miss Williams, your first period teacher on odd days. Okay, Miss Williams. Not to be rude, but how do you expect us to write a three-page essay? All I did was sleep, eat, and sh Um, is this Miss Williams' class? Just at seven. Brittany? Brittany? What down? What? Can I get some chips? I only got crumbs. But I can see the whole chips. Brittany, put away the bag of chips. Uh-uh. I've been eating this the whole entire class, period. You haven't said anything, not even once. But clearly it's okay, becoming a distraction to the class. Enough. Like who? Okay. Ah! Is Edna help me? Bring me no! Yeah! America is at stake! Bestie, sit down. We already knew that. Well, I didn't. Can you explain? Sure thing. Mega politicians just announced they are a stream committed to America agenda. And they're threatening to gut Medicare and Social Security. Weaken our gun safety laws. Impose a nationwide abortion ban. And raise healthcare and prescription drug costs by siding with Big Pharma over working people. Wow, that's crazy.
Oh, another thing, my politicians say they want to cut spending, but what they really want is to cut taxes for the ultra-rich and big corporations. Yet, unlike the MAGA agenda, President Biden knows that families are feeling the burden of higher prices, which is why he's taking significant actions to tackle inflation and lower costs to give working families across the country more breathing room in their budgets. It sounds like we all know what's best for us and who we should be siding with. Let's keep spreading the word. Click the everyone copy link five times. Brittany, you're not in this period. Just go ahead and start writing that referral. Oh, let me go and get my phone out. Why? Bitch! Oh, that's why. She gets oh laid out. What are you doing? Is she just gonna sit there and get punched? Couldn't it be me. I was dared to fight you. So that's what I'm doing. You're such a coward. I wasn't even paying attention. You seem pretty alert Sis to me. Sis is popping that neck. Head about to fall off. You're right. I am alert. And now I can do this. <gasps> she said her hair was all natural. It is. Line that. You've done it now. Her hair looks just like an egg. Someone record my phone oh, died. Not the wig. She probably got lice. Miss Edna, what does it mean to have a union? Are you talking about having a bank account? I wasn't talking to you. Oh. When you have a union, you have a voice to tell your employer what you need. You yourself would know firsthand what is needed to do your job and create positive outcomes. That's what it is to have a union. Unions are very important to have because it gives people a voice to be heard, to be recognized, to be able to stand up for themselves and negotiate through how much a worker gets paid and the time they have off, among other benefits. Did you know there's an anti-union legislation being introduced and voted on around the country? Yeah, it's crazy. This type of legislation makes it harder for workers to stay in their unions, really impacting essential workers. I think we all should look up labor bills in our state and call representatives to condemn anti-union legislations. That's a good idea because we need our essential workers caring for the public. Hey, I'm Brittany and that's Tiffany. If you want to be our third, who said I wanted to? Oh, I did. And you are going to. Where did you come from that you are a baddie? Because looks ain't everything, honey. Okay. We need action. We need to know that you can hold your ground in anything. Pop that next, sis. Girl. Unless you're just scared. Try me. You see that couple over there? That's Zach and Sarah. Sarah thinks she's all that with that new hairdo. And Zach finally done chopped off his hair. I need you to snatch Sarah's wig off in front of her boyfriend. She is not gonna do it. Oh, 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 Bessie, let me write something on your hands. Girl, you better not draw anything weird. I won't. Girl, you did not just zap me. And it better not be who I think it is. Gwen, who, who, girl, can you read this out to me? Why won't you just read it yourself? She can't look at the palm of her hand until the day is over with. Unless she wants to do what it says. Yo, Austin. What's up, dude? Look at my shoes, then look at my head. Sure thing, bro. Bro, why are you checking me out, gay? Miss Edna, how do you spell I cup? I C U P. FBI, open up! If you want merch, go into my bio. Hey, Sarah, can I borrow your charger, best friend? Sure. Best friend. <laughs> hey, Brittany, can I have my charger back? What percentage are you on? 2%. Well, I'm on 90%. Just give me a couple more minutes, okay? <laughs> but it's mine. And my phone just died. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give it back. Mm-hmm. I said give it here. Thanks. That's all you had to do. Oh, she done messed up. You're the tech whiz. Why isn't my phone unlocking? Because if you read here, you've tried it too many times, so you'll have to wait a minute. Oh. And don't get smart with me. Where you going? I ain't tell you to leave. It just got unlocked. 
What is it, mom? Why my phone keep going slow? Your phone never goes slow. Fix mine. There's nothing I can do about that. Y'all don't have unlimited data like me. Well, put unlimited data on mine, Brittany. You must gonna pay for it. Why can't you pay for it? You're living under my roof, eating my food. The least you could do is pay my phone bill. Mama, how about this? If you have any trouble with your phone, call up Geek Squad at Best Buy. Here's the number. Oh no, the hell she did it. Do you guys know why I became a teacher? No. Well, I'm about to tell you. Of course you are. There's this woman named Carla Hernandez Matz, who is in fact a Florida Lieutenant Governor candidate. Someone you guys need to vote for. Oh, I know who that is. Yes, she's a first generation American who has spent her entire career advocating for teachers and students and wants to continue to do so. Did you know Carla Hernandez was awarded Miami-Dade Teacher of the Year for her outstanding work with special needs children? Yes, I did. Did you know in 2018, Carla had led the charge in mobilizing teachers and helped pass Referendum 362, which offered public school teachers salary raise and increased school security? Wow, that's huge. Yes, she is such a huge asset for the future of public education in Florida. Just me seeing her do all these great things has made me want to step forward as a teacher to try my best to help people in need of a great education. Hey girl, let me get one. Sure. Me too. Okay, just don't tell anyone. Yo, Tiff, let me get a piece of gum. I got it from Gwen. Ooh. Where's my piece? Ooh, who got gum? I want some gum. Okay, you all owe me some gum. Gwen, I'm going to need you to spit out the gum. Do you not see everyone else chewing? Don't look at me, I don't got none. Gwen, I don't wanna to have to ask you again. <coughs> to the principal's office, now! Hey, what, oh my. Oh no, I just wanted to say hey. I have important info to inform you guys. Hmm. President Biden believes that all Americans living with mental health conditions should be treated with compassion, respect, and understanding, regardless of their age, income, or background. Did you know this is Mental Health Awareness Month? Duh, Sarah, that's what she's talking about. President Biden has an American rescue plan making investments all around the country. Yes, Tiffany, $122 billion went to the funding and mental health crisis in schools and provides support to students. Yes, thanks to this fund, schools has already seen a 65% increase in social workers and a 17% increase in counselors. President Biden is also funding the frontline workers having significant mental health challenges. Let's go, Biden! Brittany, wake up! Yes, yes, the answer is 25. Brittany, this is a math class. We're in government, yes? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew that. I was just kidding. Then explain what we were just talking about. Crap. President Biden. Oh yeah, President Biden has nominated 134 federal judicial candidates since the start of his presidency. That's literally more than any president in history. How many of those nominations were confirmed? Over 70. Shut up, Sarah, I wasn't talking to you. What does his confirmed nominees include, Brittany? the first black woman to serve on the U.S. District Court of Oregon, the first Hispanic judge to serve on the U.S. District for the District of Massachusetts, also the first LGBTQ Article Three judge to serve in the state of Virginia. Yeah, and Biden's judicial appointments are by far the most diverse. Hmm. Don't sleep again in my class. No, Brittany, what happened? Not the hospital gown in the wristband. Someone find out, beat her up. Oh! Wait a minute, because they didn't get beat up. She just hit me once. And it seems like once was enough. <laughs> ah! Baby, I still got one good arm. So y'all keep trying me. Best friend, tell us the tea. All y'all need to know is, I got this broken arm from swinging on the <laughs> who thought I wasn't about it. What was that other word? I just happened to break my arm when I swung. Period. Pop that next, sis. Oh, wow. You must have swung really hard. Wanna see? No, thank you. Thought so. Have you guys heard of Ron DeSantis? No, who's that? Really? It's all over social media. 
Okay, are you gonna tell me more or? Ron DeSantis is seeking re-election as Florida governor. What does that have to do with me? Everything, literally. He was involved in shipping Venezuelan asylum seekers to Massachusetts, sabotaging the school system and vilifying LGBTQIA plus students. What? No, it's crazy. He has literally pushed out highly effective teachers and lowered the requirement to become a teacher by no longer needing a college degree. That doesn't make any sense. Why have someone teach a whole class not knowing if they can even do the work they are teaching? Get this, it says here, the census used an executive order to remove Broward County School Board members and appointed four Republicans in their place. Okay, he needs to be voted out. No, seriously, help me spread the word. It's time we put a stop to his brand of leadership. Gwen, which question did the teacher say not to do? Number 12. Okay. And she gave us the answer to number 25 because of a typo. What was the answer again? It was. Brittany, if I had a dog for every time I told you to keep your eyes on your own paper and to stop talking, I wouldn't be working here. So I suggest you to, or that's a zero on the test. Well, I was just asking her what you already said about the test. Pop that next, sis. Well, you should have been listening. As soon as pencils go up, that means stop talking. And as soon as I start giving a fuck, I'm gonna keep doing me. Okay. Well, you can keep doing you to the principal's office. That's a zero. You dropped something. What? Your wig. She really thinks she's all that. Yeah, honestly, I heard a family boost. Oh, Bessie, do you hear something? Because all I'm hearing is jealous hoes that want to be. Pop me. that next, sis. <laughs> next. Period. First of all, no one wants to be you. And second, who even buys Apple when every product looks the same? Nothing changes, am I right? They're probably fake. There's nothing fake here, honey. So what now? With y'all's androids having air. What's wrong with Android? Y'all emojis, the fuck? Okay. Well, at least our phone doesn't die fast on purpose. At least when I drop off with my battery doesn't fall out. <laughs> Anyways. If you seem Android or team iPhone, let me know down in the comments. Period. Girl, do you smell that? Girl, somebody is musty. I smell straight up onions. Who do you think it is? <laughs> Who in the hell is musty in this room? It smells like straight up ass. Ciao. I bet money is Zach. How are we gonna prove it? Zach, are you musty? <laughs> Why don't you just ask? Should've thought of that. Why don't you ask your mom? Oh, girl, what did he just say? If you wanna see part two, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, link in bio for more. Miss Anna, can I go to the restroom? Wait until the last 10 minutes of class. What time is it now? Check the clock. Oh, okay, Miss Anna. You took them all down. Pop that neck, sis. Marie, what time is it? I don't know. Isn't she holding her phone? You know what? It is last time in the class, and I'm leaving. Is she actually going to leave? Brittany, walk out that door. You're getting a referral. If I stay here, I'm going to peel your floor. What don't you understand? What do you want me to do? Let me know. Do it on the floor. You decide and see what happens. Oh Damn, my God, Miss Edna, I want to record. Damn. She is looking stuck. Miss Edna, are you okay? I knew that was a wig. Okay, take out your... Who sprayed something? You guys know that you're not supposed to be spraying any sort of fragrance inside the classroom. Brittany, what was that? What was what? Did you spray perfume? You want me to be honest? Of course, Brittany. No, I didn't. Well, I can smell the perfume strongly over there and that's not allowed. Yeah, you said it already. And I just told you it wasn't me. So what now? Are you gonna arrest me? Okay, if no one steps forward, there will be consequences. It was Brittany. I saw her put it in her bag. Thanks, Sarah. Brittany, stay after class. 
Sorry I'm late. Who's that? That's okay. Just the first day of school. What's your name? The name's Gwen. She fine. That's cool. Want to sit with us? I'm Chloe, and that's Veronica, and we're twins. twins. Gwen, for your own good, I suggest you sit with us. She's going to sit wherever I tell her to sit. What's up, Gwen? I'm Austin. Hi. Gwen, you must be shy. No, I just don't feel like being here. Oh! Tiffany, I think I found our third. Let me guess, you guys are having trouble with the assignments. In that case, Brittany? Yes? Do me a favor and help me out with some of the classmates' questions Seeing that you aced the last test. I'm not a teacher for one, and you're not even paying me. Plus, I cheated on that test. <laughs> I'll give you extra school bucks. How about that? Better than nothing. What do you need help with? What is two plus two? Is she dumb? Five. Yeah! Wait, I have another. Maria, what you want? What's the equation to? Hold that thought. Aren't you always on your phone? Yes. Google is free. Use it. Oh, what does 3.14 stands for in math? Why y'all asking me these questions like I know it? Didn't you pass the test? Oh, I was from pie. <laughs> <laughs> if you girls don't stop laughing now, you will be getting moved. For real, y'all need to be quiet while Miss Edna talking. Some people trying to learn. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, that's enough, Gwen. Sit next to my desk. What? Brittany? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused on number three. We're on question 15. Go ahead and step outside. Ooh. Man, I ain't even do nothing. And y'all stop laughing. Girl. You know what? All three of you can laugh your way down to the office. I'm calling your parents. Yeah! Oh, Brittany about to fight somebody. Brittany about to fight. Who's she about to fight? Me. Best friend, remember what we came here for. Y'all, ain't coming to fight. I'm trying to be the bigger person here and talk this out like an adult. Okay. You're just scared. Oh, <laughs> I'm far from scared, babe. She is popping that neck. Then come up here and fight me. <laughs> I see this isn't going to get anywhere and you're just wasting my time. That is my best friend. They grew up so fast. You don't have anywhere to be, so stop making excuses. Girl, that's what I thought. Best friends, no. Be the bigger person. We're almost out the door. If you wanna see part two, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, link in bio for more. That's what I thought. Best friends, no. Be the bigger person. We're almost out the door. Brittany and Tiffany, what are you doing in my class? Oh, oh, we just came back to pick up the paperwork I left last period. Tiffany speaks for herself. I came here to put someone in her place. What was that again? That's what you thought? <laughs> I'm gonna let her think that she's all that when clearly she's not. <laughs> Am I right? Um, if I were you, I'd turn around. Hair is nappy. I'm gonna give you something to think about. Oh, oh my hair, my hair, no, oh my God. Hair. She's getting her ass told. So, oh about that paperwork. The referral? Oh, Bessie, did you see so and so Snapchat begging for cash out money, child? Can someone cash out me $5 for gas? <laughs> no, girl, they literally slid up and messaged me. Me too, like, baby, what are you gonna do with $5? That's a whole McDonald's Happy Meal that could have been in my stomach. Okay. Get this. They be having whole jobs and showing their menu on Snapchat, but stay broke. Make that make sense. You know, run me dry. Half of the time, I don't even know what to say. Hi, can anyone cash up me $5? I'll show you. Take note. Abby, what was that? Can you cash up me five bucks? I don't have cash out. PayPal? Don't have that either. Venmo? Ven what? More like Ven no. Oh, a bank account? What's that? Never mind. Hmm. See, just like that. Then why is she coming back? 
If you want to see part two, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Link in bio for more. I was tardy. I'm pretty sure I came in on time. No, you didn't. Because I remember when the tardy bell ring, you were not in class. And I remember I almost marked you absent. Girl, you are doing too much right now. That's why you ain't got no friends. Oh, teacher pet have an ad. Well, this teacher's pet has marked you tardy. Okay, and Sarah. Miss Edna, I believe this is Brittany's third tardy for the semester. What does that mean? Thanks for reminding me. Brittany, that would be a call home to your mom. Because I know she's the one taking you to school. Sarah, you really do have a lot of mouth. I just want you to know that before I tear it off. What? Drag her! Be her ass! Oh. Get her ass off with all that mouth. She need to learn how to be quiet. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Link in bio. Honey, I'm gonna need you to be quiet and just take the exam. Why she say the exam? Like okay. That? Maria, I know you're over there cheating on your phone. So you better airdrop me them answers or I'm snitching. Brittany, okay. That's a zero for talking. Still want me to airdrop you those answers? It's gonna be a zero anyway. Okay. Do you not see Maria on her phone? Sis, stay popping that neck. Her head about to pop from her neck. No. Okay. For whoever keeps saying, okay, it's about to get beat up just like Miss Edna. Okay. Oh. Miss Edna, do you want me to call the office? Shut up, sir. You a snitch. Brittany, no. Ah! Brittany, what? Nothing. Well, I have something. Take a seat and listen. That wasn't me. Anyways. This year's midterm elections are just around the corner. Is that so? Yes. Class, who typically serves a four-year term and determines how their state's elections are ran. The Secretary of State determines who, when, and how someone can vote, which is why more than ever it is imperative that we pay attention to who we are voting for. That's correct. In this upcoming midterm election, voters will select a new Secretary of State in states like Arizona, Georgia, Minnesota, Michigan, and Nevada. So, it is very important to vote for every position all the way down the ballot. <laughs> What's so funny? I heard that you've been going around saying that my mom went in jail and that we lost our house. Oh, sis is popping that neck. <laughs> and you think it's funny? <laughs> First off, it is kind of funny. And second, I don't participate in the rumors. Didn't you just share on Facebook saying Britney a hoe? My Facebook got hacked. Line there. You know what? Brittany, shut up and just swing. Yeah. Come on. She is getting her ass toe up. Where's the teacher? And that's where you're going to end up in jail. Just like your man. Ooh. Y'all stay instigating. Not the wig. For more videos, subscribe to me. You should tell me to for more. Yo, man! Where is she? I don't know. Let me catch Miss Williams slipping again for calling my mama. Thanks, guys, for not saying anything. Do you know why I became a teacher? No. There's this woman named Carla Hernandez Mass, who's in fact a Florida Lieutenant Governor candidate. Someone that you guys need to vote for. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah, she's a first generation American who has spent her entire career advocating for teachers and students, and someone who wants to continue to do so. Carla was awarded Miami Dade Teacher of the Year for her outstanding work with special needs children. Correct. In 2018, Carla led the charge in mobilizing teachers and helped pass Referendum 362. Wow, that's huge. Yes, she is a huge asset for the future of public education in Florida. I will also try my best to help people in need of a great education. So she is in here. There she goes. Oh, no one. Why is she crying? Is she okay? 
Her cat must have died. <laughs> Can you shut up? Oh, that's no way for you to speak to an essential worker. International Workers Day was this week. It was. We need to be appreciated more. Period. Miss Edna, what's this an essential worker? You don't know? Duh, she doesn't know. That's why she asked. Pop that neck. Essential workers are workers who really need it in our society to keep it going, such as educators as myself, nurses, construction workers, janitors, and etc. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, essential workers is what kept everyone on their feet during the pandemic. Without them, it would have been a whole disaster. Period. Go essential workers. Sarah, you got a boyfriend? No. Girl, why you lying? I saw y'all Walmart looking for some clothes with Zach. Holding hands. That wasn't me. Okay then, let me ask Zach. Hey Zach, do you have a girlfriend? I'm not interested. Boy, I don't like you. Are you and Sarah dating? Yes. Zach. Aw, y'all so cute. Y'all, y'all be kissing. Ah, oh, Brittany. Girl, you be doing the most. <laughs> don't let the little nice girl act fool you. They be the main ones. Ain't that right, Sarah? Woman whose book Ollie had stolen. Now, Brittany, tell the class what you just read. Okay. The woman whose book Ollie had stolen. No, sweetie, no. Don't reread the sentence you just read. Summarize what you just read to the class, yes? Mm-hmm. Girl, what was the story about? Didn't you just read it? And weren't you listening to it? To be honest, no. I had my AirPods in. Brittany. Can I go to the restroom? Right after you tell the class what you just read about. Okay, why do I have to tell the class what I just read when everybody should have been listening? Pop that neck, sis. Yeah, I made points and now you're looking stuck. Now can I go to the restroom? Go ahead. Subscribe and turn on the bell. Miss Edna, I have a... Hold on, Brittany, I'm busy. Ask me in a sec. Miss <sighs> Edna, I need help. Didn't I just tell you to ask me in a sec? It's been 30 minutes. Take a seat. Oh! Yeah! Everyone be sure to leave your assignment in the basket by the door. Miss Ed, I didn't finish since you never answered my question, so I couldn't do it. Hold on, Brittany. As you were saying? Yeah, it's been a while since I've been back. A lot has changed. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have you been a big help to the students? No, she has not. Are she going to be late to class? Do you need a pass? Is Brittany still causing trouble? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, bitch, bitch. Oh, bitch. Today's the day. Today's what day? Class presentation. I thought it was due next week. What was that? Nothing. Who wants to present first? I do. Okay, go ahead. Girl, what do I do? Girl, I tell you, do your work all the time. And that's what I know about Abraham Lincoln. Her hair no is nappy. Great job. Brittany, your turn. I chose President Obama because he was the first black president. Okay. Period. And Elf Michelle, because no one has time for this prison food. She got these folks serving For real. Us. I'm saying. So if I see her on the street, it's on sight. Pop that neck, sis. Great job, Brittany. Now take a seat. They called it a Nikoi salad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tiffany trying to skip class? Like, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I just know that's embarrassing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Damn! Tiffany, let's go before the teacher get back. I don't know who told you Snorted was cute. Here's your bear record for today. Are essential workers being treated as essential? I've learned that the majority of them lack proper access to a living wage, healthcare, benefits, training, and overall protections of labor exploitation on the job. Yeah, that's so unfair when essential workers has gotten us through so much that like the pandemic. They deserve proper compensation, protection, support, and respect. We need to elect someone who provides actionable support for our essential workers. Great answers, everyone. We all need to support and stand by our strong essential workers when they've always helped us. And that's on what? 
period. They support and celebrate their overall health and dedication to their jobs. Is she not going to say, hey, are we even besties anymore? We haven't spoken in ages. Okay, girl, I don't like the tea I'm feeling right now. So what's tea? Are we even besties anymore? We haven't spoken 24 hours. Those 24 hours did feel like a lifetime. Girl, I missed you. I missed you too. And that's on what? Period. Okay, you guys haven't spoke for 24 hours. So what? Left. Right. Let's go. Is that the girl? It sure is. Let's go. I heard you talk about my best friend. Yeah. Who, me? Now she wanna play dumb. Uh -huh. My face. Next time, yo. Brina, just swing. Oh my God, that's a fight. Oh my, get she get her head. Pull her hair. Pull her hair. Pull her hair. She is going off. Dang. You a boy supposed to break it up. I don't understand the girl fights. Yo, that's the wrong girl. She's over there. Girl, have you noticed that Sarah hasn't worn the same as that clothes for ages now? Yes, I have. <laughs> she at least needs some new shoes. <laughs> Bestie, I know this app where we could legit buy her some. <laughs> What's the app? Because I kind of need some too. <laughs> it's called Macari. Macari allows you to search up a variety of items to buy, such as shoes, games, clothes, decor, and etc. Lots of items on here are really affordable and you can find really great deals. And get this, you can not only buy items from Macari, but you can sell your own items as well. So you're saying I can make money on here as well? I did say you can sell your own items, didn't I? Where can I download this app? I need it now. Download Macari by clicking the link in my bio. So what assignment are you doing? I didn't assign any homework last night. Math. But this is reading class. Why are you doing work from another class in here? Because my math class is next period and this is due then. Math class doesn't start for another 35 minutes. So I don't need your math buying into your reading time. It's due next period. What don't you understand? Pop that next. Well, you should have thought about that when you were at home. It's homework for a reason. What don't you understand? Now put it away. Brittany, just put it away. Sarah, don't do it. I'll just hit my math teacher. My teacher ate my homework. How many of you appreciate all the things your loved ones have done for you? All the time. My mama just bought me some McDonald's too, so I'm feeling very grateful. Brittany, put away the food. Wanna fry? As I was saying, it's important to appreciate what people have done for us, and that's including the Biden-Harris administration. I'm listening. This year, in 2022, the Biden-Harris administration has signed the PACT Act, the most significant expansion of healthcare and benefits for veterans in decades. Sign an executive order on reproductive health care access that supports patients traveling out of state for medical care. Oh, it wasn't the Inflation Reduction Act signed? Yes, Brittany, it was. I see you've been listening in our class discussions. Well, yes. Although, I'm curious what more great achievements Biden may bring to our future. You're telling me you're not coming to school? No, girl, I'm <coughs> sick. Oh, stop lying and come here now. You should at least give me a heads up. Girl, what you're breaking, you're breaking up, you're breaking up, you're breaking up. You are not the father. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, please. Um, Miss Williams, I need to go to the clinic. You went yesterday. I guess we went to peek on your floor. Cause I will. And you'll be the one cleaning it up. She will. She's that nasty. Yeah.
What? <laughs> Actually, send me to the principal's office. Oh my god, my wig! Bet you won't say it again. Pop that next. Just yes. ask your mom. You know what? Go take a shower. Brittany, just a thought, but have you checked into your armpits? Maybe it's... Maybe it's who? Go ahead and finish that sentence. <laughs> Maybe it's you. Oh, girl, I take showers every day. Don't do me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god! Brittany! Yes? Yes? Yes, mom, what do you want? Oh my god. What? What was that? Yes, ma'am. Bring me some water. Here's your water. Oh. Oh, the devil is a lie. You did that because you didn't want to do it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, Brittany! Just stay right there. Yes! What, Brittany? And next time, knock. Do you remember in elementary school how you failed me? Pop that nexus. Brittany, that was so long ago. I don't even remember half of my students' names, let alone their faces. Now get out, you're interrupting my class. Well then, let me refresh your memory. Excuse me? Brittany fighting the teacher. Oh, she can get suspended. This end will just fight back. Do you want me to get the resource officer? Shut up, Sarah. You a snitch. Do what you want to. Never mind. Someone beat up Sarah too. You know what? If I go to jail for hitting a minor and will, so be it. Come on. Oh my God, her wig. It's now the end of the school year. We know. Remember how I said best class gets a pizza party at the end of the year? Yes. Well, OMG, yes. Brittany, you can have my piece. Thanks, bestie. I'm already hungry. My stomach is touching my back. I hope she got meat lovers. No, I want cheese pizza. Hold your horses, everyone. This pizza isn't for you. You guys been bad all year. Especially you, Brittany. Man, you got our hopes up. She know what she did. She ain't got mine up. Ah! Hmm. Everyone, I would like for you to bring back a signed test paper from your parents so I know that they know what grades that their kids are making in my class, especially the ones with the elves. Oh, Bessie, I'm not trying to hear my mama's loud mouth. Then don't get bad grades. Girl, you have no other choice. Wait, I actually do. There's this app called iScanner. What's that? iScanner allows you to scan any papers and turn them into a PDF, JPG, or TXT. You can also edit it to your liking and get this. You can sign it as well. Oh wow, I already know what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do the same thing. Where do I download it at? Download it by clicking the link in bio. Help! Why do you always do that? Do what? Just take a seat. Yeah! In today's lesson, I'll be informing you all that MAGA politicians just announced they are committed to America agenda and have called for a nationwide abortion ban, raising healthcare costs for families, and good in Medicare and Social Security. Unlike the extreme MAGA agenda, the Biden-Harris administration is delivering on issues that working families care about, including lowering costs and strengthening our economy. Yes, and to add on to that, under President Biden's leadership, our economy has created over 10 million jobs, and wages are increasing. Let's make it clear that we won't be brought back by MAGA politicians, and that's on what? Period. Miss Edna, what were you known for in school? Who? Is your name not Miss Edna? Oh! Well, let me think back. Did you go to school at Rosa Parks? How old do you think I am? Ancient. Anyways, when I was in school, I was known as- As the class- What? None. I was known as- The class drug dealer. Can you repeat that? What? I didn't say anything. Don't say anything while I'm speaking. As I was saying, I was known as- The class snitch. It was! You look like a snitch with them glasses. <laughs> You know what? Bring me to the office now. I am calling your mom. Yes! What'd I just say? A snitch. Subscribe and turn on the bell. Who wants to read the next paragraph? <laughs> yeah. Brittany? 
Yeah, that's my name. Read the next paragraph. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I lost my page. Which one is it? Next time, pay attention instead of talking. Austin, you can start. Well, next time you can call someone who's paying attention instead of me. Okay. What are you doing? Brittany does his work. You have a question? That's not what I was asking. What are you doing eating in class? I was actually running late to class today, so I didn't have time to make breakfast. Don't you think it's unfair to us when you tell us not to eat or bring food in class? Because I'm hungry too. I miss breakfast. Well, Brittany, I don't want to listen to your BS. Give me the cereal. Ooh. Guys, make sure you're reading all the questions carefully, okay? Excuse me, which question am I not reading carefully? Pop that nexus. Didn't say it was you, Brittany. Ooh. It clearly was me, saying that you were sitting over my paper right before you said that. Okay. Honey, I'm gonna need you to be quiet and just take the exam. Why she say the exam like that? Okay. If you wanna see part two, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, link it by you for more. Okay, everyone under the desk. That's my bag. Brittany under the desk now. Oh, there it goes. And I'm going. Oh, I'm feeling really about tired of her. Okay, everyone, get from under the desk. You've done well. Brittany? Yes. I'm here. Pop that nexus. If this was a real drill, you'll be in danger. No, if this was a real drill, I'll be jumping out that window. Okay. And check yourself before you check me, because you were standing in the middle of the classroom. Make that make sense. Ain't that right? Hi, ma'am. You can take a seat. You're not going to say it to my daughter? Well, I just saw her early. Y'all got some disrespectful teachers in this school, and we'll be standing, because we're not going to be here for long. Okay, well, ma'am, your daughter has gotten into a fight with another young lady. And left her with a bloody nose. Do you have anything to say to that? Say to what? What I just told you. Honey, did the girl lay her hands on you first? She did. Who do the students think won? Me. Okay. Are you not going to discipline her? What are you not going to do is tell me how to discipline my child. So if someone touches your daughter like this, you want her to fight them? You damn right. Oh my God. Girl, you do not want to know who I saw boot up at Walmart. Bestie who? What's tea? Girl, I got the tea. Then spill. I'm waiting. Girl. Say girl one more time. You don't want to know them. Matter of fact, I don't want to know. You play too much. Okay. Sarah and Zach. <laughs> That toilet is calling my name. Yes, Sarah? Can I go to the restroom? Can you? May I? Go ahead. Yes, Brittany? Can I go to the restroom? Wait till Sarah gets back. Ugh, I'm gonna poop on the floor. Sarah is back, can I go now? It's the last 10 minutes of class. You should've went earlier. But Sarah, no buts. I'm sorry. Ah! I need someone to take this note to the office. I want to. Oh, I'll do it. Tiffany, you can take it. Thank you. Ask her if you can come with me. Can I go with her? It doesn't take two people to deliver a note. Plus, you have work to do. Well, can I go to the restroom? You can go when Tiffany gets back. She's not even going to the restroom, and I need to go really bad. I wasn't born yesterday. I said no. Go ahead, Tiffany. So annoying. For more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel and bio. Hey, Maria, can I borrow your pencil? Sure. Give back at the end of class. All right, thanks. Hey, Gwen, can I have my pencil back? Gwen, are you coming? Hold on. What pencil? The pencil I gave it to you earlier to borrow. Oh, no, I don't have it. It's my only pencil. I literally gave it to you. When she says she doesn't have it, she doesn't have it. Now, come on, we better be late. Sorry. Girl, where's the pencil? In my pocket. I need it for next class. 
class, be sure to pass up your homework. Sorry, Miss Edna, I didn't bring my homework. That's unlike you. My dog kind of ate mine. What? There's this app called Cam Scanner that allows you to scan anything to books, documents, and of course, homework. I can already see where this is going. Just open up the Cam Scanner app, take a picture of what you want to scan, crop the image to your liking. Just to be safe, you can save a copy as a Word file or PDF, email it to yourself, and submit it to me by the end of class so you won't lose points. Or that'll be a zero. Movie or heads up seven up? Heads up seven up, duh. No one feels like watching Goosebumps. Okay, I'll choose three people. Sarah, Tyro, and Jasmine. You guys come up here and everyone put your heads down. Okay, remember the shoes, remember the shoes, remember the shoes. Heads up. I know who touched me. Who? Sarah. No, I'm definitely gonna fill that student in my class. Wait, who is it? I think I have that same crazy kid in my class. Hey, Miss Edna, what was that assignment that was doing your class? Brittany, I'm at lunch right now. I'm not answering any questions. You see me next period. That assignment is due when I have you. Miss Green, seriously, I will call his parents. See, this is why I have zeros in her class. Hello? Brittany, I'm eating. Since you're so hungry, here's a knuckle sandwich. Everyone's probably gonna be looking at me. You're late too? Yeah. Wait. Go ahead and take a seat, Gwen. Bestie, what is wrong? You know what you did. No, I do not. You know what you did. Girl, if I knew what I did, I wouldn't be asking you. So I'm gonna ask you one more time. 